What were you saying? To do an effective splice, you only need to go three times underneath, right? So mm -hmm. up and under. Mm -hmm. Make it quite easier. Right, so to start a splice, just choose to unwrap the rope, keep it nice and tight. Come back and don't be miserable at your length. It doesn't really it doesn't have to be that tight. It's mm -hmm. quite quite a nice big open eye. Get your yellow rope and go underneath the yellow rope. Mm -hmm. The first one goes underneath. Twist a bit. Twist it open underneath. So when you put it through, any rope you put through, the first one you relay the rope so you tighten it back up again. Mm -hmm. The next one will cross over the yellow one and underneath the green one. Mm -hmm. Ah. Right over the yellow and under the green. That's a straight forward, that's a straight forward side. And then re repeat, rinse and repeat. Oh, well, rinse and repeat, but you've got to go get the next one in, which is the one on the other side, this side. So it goes this side of the of of the of the first one, mm -hmm. and it tucks in underneath this one here. Again, it goes from this way. So it doesn't go like that, it mm -hmm. goes like that. that. So it's got to go in the same way. So when you get the three done, that's your most critical part of the whole slice, splice is to get the thing lined up. Mm -hmm. Then roll it between your hands so it sits nicely all around, right? Mm -hmm. You see how it's begun. So now we need to, that's one, so the next one goes over the yellow one, underneath the green. Oh, well, I see. So you moved it, you went a bit past the last one. That's right. So this one here, you go over the first one and under the second one, which is a yellow one. This one here's yellow, over the green, under the green. Okay, when you get to that point, that's two done, so we need to go to four. You just make sure it's, it's running parallel down here, running parallel down here, running parallel down here, mm -hmm. and it looks neat and tidy. Roll it between your hands to, to embed it back in again. Yep. So she's all right. Nice. That little kink there will not cause much of a trouble. That's on the original rope. It's not in the... New rope, so we just can't do much about that. So it doesn't matter which one you choose to start with. So you go to the next one, which is the, the yellow. Will do. As long as you don't do them tw two, you just do them one at a time. Mm -hmm. So you don't go yellow, yellow. You know, you end up with stuff going everywhere. Yep. That's true. Okay. The yellow. Roll it back flat. That's three. Mm -hmm. That's strong enough to be in for all practical purposes. Yep. The fourth one is just a bit of, of bibs and braces, and that's all you need to go. You don't need to go any more than, than that many. One. It's basically, the tighter it pulls, the tighter it pulls on the splice. Yes, really. but you, just, you can go to you can go as many under splices as you like, but after three, you get no increase in strength. Yep. That's the last one. Once you've done all that, you just roll it between your hands. There's no need to finish those ropes in any way. You can, you could, you know, people would burn them off and stuff like that, but there's no need to at all. You just go through the thing back in there, and that's all finished, ready to go for the flying on Thursday. Happy days. We are done. We are done. Just use your Leatherman, which you birthday or next Christmas will you'll get one. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's Suggest your family what you want for Christmas is a Leatherman. Done. Thank you. And put on your belt.